G'day, so today I want us to talk a bit about like getting into using an axe and wood chopping and some of the things that I've learned over time and you know some of the mistakes and whatever. Um, so today I'm using pretty much the first axe I ever had. I mean I used some other like Chinese made stuff that the family owned and whatever but uh, this axe in particular is a Sandvik um, but actually when you look under the pole it's a uh, Helco work nothing fancy it's literally like a hardware store axe of premium you could say for a hardware store where it's not Chinese it's a it was a very very generic four pound American pattern of black paint varnished handle the handle itself is cut out of a board so it's completely flat so what I'm trying to say here is this axe is the first axe I ever had, I've over the years modified it slightly and revisited it and um, it's perfectly fine. There's nothing particularly wrong with it, there's not a lot particularly great about it either. But I can guarantee you um, with this axe I can outperform a Grandpa's Bucks or something expensive that you can buy off the shelf and uh, use unmodified. Um, this modified axe will outcut them. You'll be more comfortable to use for a longer period of time due to the thin down handle, and it will get more wood cut. The grind's thinner and a bit flatter. It bites in deep. An axe is only good as its user, and by spending a lot of money, you're not necessarily going to get better performance. Of course, the main thing is your skill of chopping, but it's also learning to use an axe. It's not just the chopping; it's also learning how to set up an axe correctly, modify it, maintain it, sharpen, uh, regrind it from bad damage, all these things you're far better off learning how to do on a cheap axe. I often see lots of posts of people who have bought Grandpa's Bucks because they were told it was the greatest and the, the best. They've um, hit the ground, they've chipped it very minorly, but they don't know how to sharpen it and they have to make a post and uh, get advice, which, you know, <laughs> Is a bit laughable really. So an axe is a fairly simple tool, it's just a piece of metal on the end of a stick. Now, as long as it's got reasonably good geometry, it will cut if you grind it right. Some of them will be sticky in certain woods, some of them won't cut quite as deep in other woods, but you can get them to be serviceable, provided you know how to put a decent uh, grind on them. And that's really simple, you just file it thin. All I've done with this axe is file it thinner. There's no fancy, um, like, voodoo Jedi magic to it. It's just get your file, you'll look at the bevel. It's, if it's really fat and rounded off, you file it thinner and flatter, and it will cut. The edge itself, um, all I've done is filed this lightly at the very edge. It's not been stoned up to a crazy grit. And it cuts wood, and uh, that's the goal. Get it to cut wood. So maybe if you're uh, trying to find the ultimate axe and uh, spend a lot of money and um, research it all, um, you'd be better off spending that time learning how to use the axe. I'll put some links in the description for all kinds of resources that are worth checking out and uh, basically if you've got something that's fairly decent maybe just put some time into the tools you have already and see how good you can get them to perform because my experience was I'd um, had this axe for a few months and uh, I'd been playing around with it and doing a little bit of sharpening at the time I was still living with our parents and uh, I used to go around the back and cut telegraph poles, just old like telegraph poles in the, in the yard. Um, so when I finally did splash out and get a ground for the I was kind of a bit miffed really that uh, the grind wasn't as thin as I thought you could get away with. And this is someone been cutting telegraph poles, so very, very hard and knotty. Forward, so I was surprised how thick the ground was ground and uh, how it didn't really perform any better or wasn't this magical thing.
So yeah, get out and chop, spend a bit of time um, researching, uh, reading books and online manuals such as by the Forest Service and you'll get far more and you'll spend less.